there is the file, home, insert, design, layout, references, mailings, review, and view. So there's a ribbon for each of the tabs. Under home, we've got pet, format, paint, a clipboard. There is font, where you can actually change your font type, your font size. You can bold, you can put bold on your text, italics, underline, you can put caps lock, and then you can change the font color here. There's also paragraphs, tiles, under insert, the pages, tables, illustrations. So for each of the tabs, design where you design your page using watermarks, page color, page borders, layout, you can change the layout of your Word document. Under references, this is where you can use a table of contents. You can insert footnotes and endnotes in your documents. You can also insert a citation and bibliographs. You can insert captions and these are found under references. There are also mailings where you can send an email, a review, you can where there's spelling and grammar. Uh, you can accept and reject changes in the document. And then there's also a view tab with a whole lot of things where you can view using a ruler, grid line, read more, where you can change the mode, the type of view that you want for your document. So today I'm going to talk about how to create a Word document, how to save it, uh, and changing the um, font size and font types. So I will write um, myself. Right. So this is the topic for my. This is the heading. So under myself, we you will have to describe yourself in terms of your personal details. I uh, you put personal details. Uh, sorry, the wrong spelling is there. This is personal details, and then you need to put um educational qualifications educational qualifications you put your working experience this is more like a cv so i put my working experience and maybe some references uh all of these this is how i describe myself so under myself i want to put um my name, my date of birth, my gender, right, and then we have got, okay, sorry, these are personal details, so I have to cut and put information here. So I want to, to set some headings, so I go to heading 1. You right click and then you go on modify. You select this is the first heading. What color of what font color do you want for this? And then let's say we want um, black color. What about the font type? I'll choose Algerian font size. Let's keep it at 18. Do you want it to be bold? Yes. So this is how I want to set my first heading. So myself is going to be the first heading one. You click on myself and then you come here and click on heading one. So all the settings that we have put on heading one will be up will be implemented on this heading myself. Then I want personal details and the whole lot of these things to go under heading two. So I go on heading two, I do the same thing. Uh this I want all my font colors to be in black. That one was 18, so it's going to be a 16. I'll keep up with the Algerian bold, yes. And then I select personal details and choose heading 2. Together with a whole lot of these things, they also go on heading 2. Then I want these to be on heading 3. So I select 
heading 3, I modify. Heading 3, I want a black color, bold, 12, and the speaker label be heavy. Font down. Then I select OK. Then I highlight on this and I click on heading 3. Now I you go here on navigation. You can see that under heading, we've got this as the heading 1. And then personal details heading 2 is indebted inside myself. And then name, date of birth, gender, they're also indebted. Since they are heading 3, they're also indebted in my personal details, which is a heading 2. And then we have these educational qualifications, working experience, references, and hobbies. They are in line with personal details since they are all heading 2. So I now come here. I fill my... I put my name. Uh, let's just say I'm Mary... Mary Ron. What about my little face? Say I'm a I was born on 2 May 1989 and I'm a female. So with this under home other things that you can do under the home section. Besides the headings, we have covered this part of styling. You can also change the paragraph. In this case, we don't have a paragraph. But I will show you how to change your paragraph, justify your paragraphs in other tutorials. Now we want to, we have changed the font style, the font size. We have also put a bold um i can also choose to put my name i can italicize my name this is how you italicize your name using ms word you can choose to underline using this do with the ruler beneath it uh, this is how you underline and then I can also choose to change the font color uh, This is how you change your font color. You can choose to put um, Which color should I use? Maybe a red color. It's more revealing. It's a bright color anyway. So This is how you create your web document and these are the options that you can use which are under the home tab um, you can also under paragraphs you can also when you want to write a list of things uh, you use these bullet libraries say you want to this is your list um, for example I want this so I can use these bullets to to list my pins to list um you can also use a numbering library where they are um, one two three ABCs and also Roman numerals for numbers and then this section is where you can indent your text uh, you can decrease your indent or you can increase your indent here. Say I want to indent my date of birth. I click here with an arrow pointing to the right. So you, I click here and my date of birth is indented to the right. When I want to return the date of birth to where it was, I click the indent. This one is decreasing the indent. So I click here and my text goes back to where it was. And then on this, this is shading. On shading, this is how you shade your text. You highlight your text, you go on shading, you choose a color of your choice, and your text is 
shared it with uh, the color that you choose to share it with. Um, you can also, on this section, it says find. Say I want to find the word. It brings me here. And then I want to search for Mary. Say in the whole document. It, it tells me that there is one result, which means there is one Mary in the whole document. And it actually highlights the word Mary in yellow. Then let's search for a word that is not in the document, a word like black. You see, there are no matches. So on find, you can actually use this option to search for words. Then on replace, you want to replace, say you, 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 you have found that you have read you even the tag in the document and you want to change your your name from Mary. So I want to find Mary and then I want to replace the word Mary with um with Maria. So I say replace. We have finished searching the document. So it searches the whole document, looks for where there is Mary and replaces with a Maria. So I close my Mary has been changed to Maria. Now I want to save this document. I go on file. Under file I select save as Save as then you start to browse within your computer where you want to save your documents. So I will put my document on the desktop and then you, you, you write a file name. I'll just say myself and then word document. Yes, it's a word document. So I click on save. And now my document is written myself as the name of the document. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, see you on the next one where we are going to explore all the things under the insert ribbon. Uh, our insert ribbon has got a whole lot of things. So we are going to do a whole lot of tutorials under the insert tab. Thanks for watching friends. See you and enjoy your day. Thank you.